Hey everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to apply an image to a single face somewhere on your mesh. Then if you want, you can do it to another face on your mesh, and so on. Now this method is specifically for just an image going onto one face, okay? So here we go. So I've got my basic cube there, and if I check the materials tab, I can see that this cube has just the gray material on it. I'm going to add another one quickly to the front face, and that's going to be the one where I put my picture. So I'm going to go into edit mode, I'm going to select that front face, and I'm going to add a new material slot, put a new material in there, I'm going to make it purple, just so it's obvious. Now we're not going to see the purple later. I'm going to hit assign, so purple to the selected face, assign, and that's perfect. Now, for the next stage, what I'm going to be setting up is this, every material has a little sublist called the textures and that's a texture tab right there so when I hit textures it lists me for the purple texture or sorry for the purple material it lists me all of its textures uh, for now we'll just say the texture is going to be our picture so you can see I have no pictures in there likewise for the gray material its textures there's none in there okay so let's go back to purple now one little step we have to do before, which I'm not going to go into explaining in this video because we'll explain it in some following videos, is when we put the picture on, it has to know how to map and lay itself out so it fits on this face nicely. So there's a little extra step we have to do, and here's this extra step. It's getting the map for the mesh. So here we go. This window here, I click, drag left, helps me create a new window. I'm going to set that window not to be another 3D window, but we'll make this one a UV editor window. Okay, and it should just be blank. Now, here's the overall goal. Select the face you want, okay, the purple one, and go Mesh, UV Unwrap, Unwrap. And you're going to get a square because the shape of this face is a square. Now, what this is sort of doing is it's sort of putting our mesh flat down on a piece of paper. For a single image on a single face, that's all we have to do. You don't really have to do anything more here. Now we just do this. Purple material, which is already on the face. Texture tab. New texture. By default, the type has been set to image or movie, which is good, so you can just leave it. And if you scroll down a little bit, we can open up the file. And I'm going to open up a file here. I know on my desktop, in Blender stuff, in Lessons, in Materials, I have a picture here. So I'm going to go for Phase 4, whatever that is. Okay, the Batman. And that's pretty well it. Now you notice I'm not seeing it. What's going on? It's all about the viewport. Solid, you don't see it. Material, you see it. Okay, so perfect. Render, you see it. And so there it is. And so the rendered mode shows you the picture on the face. Now if you want to see that again, I'll just leave it in material tab this time. I'll do it again for another face and you'll see it's very simple. It's just basically the same procedure. So here we go. I select the face. I'm going to go to the materials tab. I don't want to use that material that I just used. That has the little Batman guy on there. So new material slot, new material. Just to test that it's working, let's make it some weird color, like the, the blue here, and assign it to the selected face. Assigned. Okay. Remember the unwrapping step. My selected face, let's unwrap it. UV, unwrap, unwrap. This sort of maps out for my picture where it's going to go. You'll see in other videos exactly what this is doing. And as long as that's set there, just go to the Texture tab for your blue material. Sometimes you have to scroll back to the top. Blender's awful that way. And let's add a new texture in there. It's an image. Good. Scroll down a bit. Open. Oh, i got to hunt this down again. you got to be kidding me. Blender stuff. Lessons. Material one. Ah, let's go for six-sided dice. And, bam, there it is. It's on there. Okay, and so that's pretty well it. 
And so that's the basic procedure. Now this works for when you select one face at a time. If you actually try doing two faces at a time, you may get lucky, but what you're going to learn in videos that follow this one is this thing right here, the mapping. Once you have a picture going across multiple faces, it's not so easy for the program to figure out how to make that picture go across the multiple faces. And so what you do is you create a map. And this is the map here, which I've done nothing with. But in videos that follow, you'll see how that's used. Okay, but for single faces, that's basically it. Make a material, assign it a texture while you have the map that you unwrapped from your selected item. And that's it. Thanks for watching.